Recently on the channel, we have reviewed ZK Teco and Dalhart technology variations for access control terminals that feature temperature measurement, face recognition, and a mask check as a criteria to check before a person is led into the building. And now, what you can clearly see is a high vision stern, and you know, every single one of them has its own catchy features that make it stand out from the others. And plus, it highly relies on which system and devices of which brand you already have in use or planning to. My name is Daniel, People Systems Store. We begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. So this is how it may look in a real life. I walk in, the temperature measurement functions and the face recognition functions do their job. You can see my picture, face was recognized and the temperature is kind of okay, a bit lower than it should be. But doesn't matter, it doesn't let me in and warns me and prompts that I should wear a face mask to enter. So yeah, that's what I actually do. And now I'm, I actually can enter. You can see this inscription, the authentic success. But it still doesn't actually let me in because to enter, I have to match four criteria. First, my face was recognized. Second, my temperature is below the upper line, which is 37.3, if I remember correct. Uh, also, I wear a mask, face, my temperature is okay, and my card, my personal card was identified. So now we're gonna do this and also pull the card. And you can, and I hope you can hear that the relay is getting open, meaning the door should be open this time. Uh, or, ah, and plus we can add uh, to this order a entry by, hold on just a sec, by the individual passwords. Though I don't have one, so it won't succeed this time. Or, what's really interesting about this one? We can do it all completely opposite and set this one up as a public access control terminal. So you know what that means? So we install it in some public area and any person who matches two criteria could enter. This is the temperature is okay below the uh, up, uh, upper line and also the person wears a mask like I do right now but for any person, any time to let into any public place. And this is just a great function. And also, also what we can do, I'm gonna show you the principle of operation of such a terminals. Now wear a mask. And now I place a cup of hot liquid right in front of my forehead to show you that the, it's past the abnormal temperature because the principle of operation of such a terminals that they spot a temperature of your forehead area, which is actually okay. The good thing I wanna begin with is that it isn't expensive, but still accurate, meaning that any enterprise can afford one for them, resulting in a wider infiltration that kind of increases an overall protection against viruses and any unauthorized intrusion. Well, because the combination of a temperature measurement a face recognition, mask check, and entry by user cards and passwords, I think can ensure a threat recognition on the entry stage. Plus, we can set the entry by the combination of authentication methods like card plus face, face plus password, and etc. And now, the top feature, it can be a public access control terminal, meaning that it can automatically, in a standalone mode, open the door uh, to people who are not enrolled into the database and to let them in if they match a normal temperature criteria and the second one is that they wear a mask and that is just great although if some error occurred or a new person needs to get in the building owing to a microphone and a speaker there we have an option to call a security guard who monitors events on the stand remotely and ask who has permission to enter which is just nice so that makes it a door station and you can actually bend it to a monitor just like this one and literally use it as a door station with two-way video and audio talk. So that's wow. And it's also a time attendance tracking. So like you'll also know about your employees working hours and events related to entry and exit that are marked with person's ID. 
High Vision DS-K1TA70MI-T Temperature Measurement and Face Recognition Access Control Terminal consists of, well, from top to bottom, a thermographic temperature measurement module. Next is a flash line. This is a dual camera module, well, for a 3D facial recognition and infrared LEDs located on the sides around a dual camera module for accurate night scanning. This is a 7-inch LCD touchscreen with actually quite a good responsiveness. This is a MyFair card compatible reader, just like this one, and you can hear that indication coming out. A speaker somewhere there on the bottom, and next to it there's also down there the USB 2.0, and even one more on the side somewhere here. And on the back there's even a SIM card slot, powered network and a lot of other interfaces to connect within alarm sensors, buttons, locks, Wigand, RS485 and etc. Now, what I liked, it is really easy to start this one up, like having no experience working with such equipment at all. It is easy to activate and set up what you need. And what I'm going to do now, I will enroll myself into the database with my face photo, administrator status, my fair card and password, and then I want to set up a rule that wearing a mask is mandatory to enter, plus a reminder to wear a mask. And I also want to see the settings for permissible temperature limits and uh, maybe modify them. Now, let me show you that close up. First thing you do, of course, you supply the power and a network via the wires, well, that you have in box, actually. Next, you'll see the screen activate device. Hold on, I'm gonna this down. And now, you're just coming up with the password. Oh. Right. Right, they match. Select language, select application mode. Honestly, there's only one mode right now, even though it's IP66, if I'm right. All right, now, you, oh yeah, I'm gonna tell that. You long tap and hold on the screen in any place and put your admin password that you have just created on the activation stage, like one step back. And now we wanna set up a user. So we go to user, user management, press this plus button naming our first user, Daniel. Now, we're gonna, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, we're gonna add the MyFair card to it, so we press plus, and now, we're just pressing it here, and you can see that it automatically read it. And that's just great. Card type, a normal, that's okay now. Going back, what we need now, uh, create a password, only digits, so one, two, two, Three, three. Doesn't matter actually. And repeat. Okay. Now the face picture. Let me just adjust myself and try again. There we go. Perfect. Save. Now we give our user a administrator permission and authentication mode. That's what I told you. You can customize it and make it a face plus password, card plus password, like face and password. Or you can do face or card, just like this. But I don't actually need it right now, so I'll just turn it off. Okay, and not saving. Save the settings? Yes, because I've created the user. Going back, what we need now, not the communication. Why did I go here? We need the first access control, if you really want it. Though contact is closed by default. Now, in the system, I want to go to a face picture. And I want to, you see this inscription, face with mask detection is turned on. But we should ensure that a visitor must wear a face mask to enter. And we also want to set a reminder of wearing a face mask. And we save. Let's go back and do it right again. Check if everything was saved. And it was just great. Lock, here you can see all the events happened. Not that much necessary right now. Time and settings, data transferring, export, import, time attendance mode, as you can turn on, and here the temperature. I want to see the limits of the permissible temperature. So the over temperature alarm threshold maximum is 37.3 Celsius. 
and it starts from 33.0 Celsius and it's quite good for me so I just leave it like that here you can calibrate it and also set up a temperature measurement area if you want it to be something I don't know something special and put your face mask let me wear my face mask because it won't let me in if I not doing it authenticate it as myself and can also authenticate it too oh failed all right but it should work it had to work authenticate it and hold on and now the password come on gotta work and now you can actually access the admin settings with a long tap on the screen and you can access it with your face just like your iPhone, I don't know, right now the Android phone doesn't matter. But that's it. Although in real life, you won't be enrolling the entire company by manually adding every single employee like I just did. So what you do, you install a high vision IVMS 4200 software onto your computer, which is actually completely free. Add this terminal to your device list and then upload a database with your employees in there. And also I know that they are going to add a web interface configuration option in here and also, the numbers are just impressive. This one is capable of storing 6,000 faces, 6,000 cards, and 100,000 events. Face recognition is being done in 0.2 seconds per face, and temperature measurement deviation could not be more, cannot exceed more than plus minus 0.5 Celsius. And it measures temperature and recognizes faces in up to 1.8 meters away from the terminal, which is which is just a great indicator. Now to end this up, let me count things that I really like about it and the features. Temperature measurement, facial recognition, mask check, entry by user cards and by passwords, and entry by the combination of those. The possibility to use it as a door station to call to... <laughs> yes, right there. Indoor monitors and to a security guard on the center. The time attendance and the option to use it as a standalone and automated public access control terminal requiring no man to control and monitor it so that's really nice plus a great numbers for enrolling a database with employees by your features and big events storing capacity and a good price it is being installed in the entrance area like doors darn style or a barrier gate it is acting as a checkpoint between a street and a working facility for employees it fits well for hospitals, factories, schools, commercial buildings, stations, airports, and etc. And you can get it in the People's System store within all other parts and a range of other thermographic equipment, uh, yeah, temperature measurement systems, and a lot else. Contact us via email specified in the description or go to our website. Thank you for watching.